Hey Tickies, okay today we're doing Technicolor Panda inspired many, inspired by the work of Dee Zeri. His real name is Jerry Manning and he's a graphic designer and you can actually purchase this design on a t-shirt from a website called Designed by Humans. I bought mine last night. I'm not getting paid to do this, I've had this photo on my computer for a couple of months trying to pluck up the courage to do it. So I really hope you like this one, let's get into it. Okay so firstly we're using OPI's put a coat on which is the base coat for their new neon collection we're also using the green which is you are so out of line and then this sort of tangerine is juice bar hopping and then we have down to the coral cor coral coral <laughs> uh, then we have life gave me lemons and hotter than you pink and finally the purple which is push and purple Now I've painted all of my nails white except for one which I painted with Manglizer's Matt is Murder, my favourite matte black polish in the world. All the details will be in the description box. Now as I said uh, this one nail is painted black and then I've gone in with a sponge and just sponged some of the white OPI base over the top of that. What I'm trying to do is get a general feel for the shape of the outside of the uh, of the panda bear. Now once you've got your general shape with your white polish, what you want to do is come back in with some of the colours or all of the colors and uh, sponge that around mostly around the outside of this design now once you've done all of that it's time to try and start making it look a bit more like a panda bear so I'm coming back in with the black and doing the ears and the eyes and just doing it with a sponge it doesn't have to be uh, neat because it's, it, well, it's not supposed to be it's supposed to be kind of messy instead of using a sponge for the eyes i'm coming in with an old brush it, it, it's actually a better if the brush is old and looks a bit scungy uh, because it gives you that sort of splotchy sort of eye the panda eye effect and it's actually starting to take more shape more the shape of a panda bear now can you see So once you have the general shape of your eyes, you want to come in with a little bit of white paint or white polish uh, and your fine detail brush just to give him some uh, the whites of his eyes. Then get some black paint, black polish or paint and start the shape of his nose. The great thing about something like this is anything is fixable by just coming in with some black and or some white and some colour. Uh, also adding some sort of drippy kind of effects just with a little bit of black paint and then also doing that also with some of the neon colours over the white just to give that sort of dripped paint a feel. Now once your panda is complete and you like everything that you've done, uh, you need to seal it with a good quality top coat. I use Sesh Beat as per usual and we'll move on to the next step. 
Now for the splatter nail art, I'm using paper straws. Uh, you can use any kind of straws. I'm also going to be using some foil to put my polish on. You can use paper as an alternative, but foil is really good too. Uh, then dip your, the end of your straw into your foil and blow into it onto your nail. The further you are away from your nail, the smaller the splatters will be. So closer together, bigger the splatters. So when you want to change colours, just cut the end of it off and change your colours. Add another spot of the different colour to your foil or your paper and repeat the process. And yes, this makes a mess. Once you've uh, cleaned up, I use a Revlon angled eyeshadow brush for cleanup and then seal it all with a good quality top coat and you're done. And we're done. I really hope you like this one. I'm sorry it's so long. Couldn't be avoided, I'm afraid. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye, Tiki. Oh, and thank you so much for subscribing and giving me a thumbs up.